Now I'm going to give an overview of the CT165 connector that's available on the tvtrade.ie website. Um, it's used in conjunction with this CT165 cable that I have behind me, which is a very, very heavy duty uh, coaxial cable. Okay, so um, I'll just give an overview of what's involved, uh, what comes in this. Um, each connector comes uh, individually bagged, okay? So what we have here is we have um, a, a, a central copper reducer here, we have a, um, a plastic collar and we have the outside uh, casing here uh, of the actual connector itself, okay? Now the idea of this thing is to put a connector on it that's um, F-type in design and it'll allow us then, we'll say, to come along and use a joiner such as a standard F connector joiner that would use to join, we'll say, uh, two coaxial cables together, or two of these together, are more likely then, we'll say, we might come to a situation where we've had a long run of, we'll say, CT165, for instance, in a hotel or in a nursing home, something like this, you have a long, long run of cable uh, and you want to minimize the levels of loss, so you make a decision to use the CT165 because it's a very thick cable and a very high copper content. But at the end of this, maybe you want to run to a TV point or feed into um, a split or something like this. So you need at that point to pull on a connector and reduce it down to a standard uh, coaxial connector such as we have here or a standard F-type connector such as we have here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give an overview of actually using, uh, putting on this connector here, okay? So if we see here, what I've done already is I've used a set of snips like this and also a Stanley knife to um, pare down the outside um, plastic shield here. Inside here we had a, a foil similar to this here, okay, which I just broke off. We have copper braiding here, which I just wrapped around the outside of the connector, and I wrapped it in a, in a clockwise direction. And then what I did is I just cut down um, the copper core and also the inside insulation dielectric here to um, to make um, uh, to just cut it to the length that'd be suitable for slipping onto this connector here. Okay, so you can see the basic dimensions there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come along, and the first part of this connector I'll put on is the actual reducer. So what I'll have done here already is I'll have used the snips here to just quickly pull off any burrs that might be on the outside of this that would slot, stop this reducer sl uh, sliding on. And what we do then is we just lightly with our hand push it on. Okay. Next we come along and we put on uh, the plastic collar, which I just have my fingers here, and we just slide it on like that. And the final step then is we actually get the connector and we push it on over here. And we can see at the center here where it's starting to pop up here, okay? What I'll do then is I push it down and I twist it in a clockwise direction. So it's both working its way down and twisting around the cable and locking tighter and tighter. And at this point here we can see that we have a fully assembled connector and it's quite tightly connected onto um, our CT165, okay? So you can just twist it on like this. What we could do at this point if we wanted is we'd come along and we could put on, let's say, an F joiner, such as this here, and we just rotate this into position like this. And then, as I've indicated already, we, do, we just have a push on F connector here. So what we could do here is we can actually just do it. So we could reduce that cable down to this. So that's anyway the, uh, an overview of the CT165. The CT165 and the connectors, all the rest of it, during the building boom in Ireland, these were extremely popular products simply because there were so many apartment blocks going in, all the rest of it. But it still has its purposes. For long runs, if you want to make certain that you're not going to have signal loss, that you'll have equally good signal at the first room as at the last room in a very, very long run of cable. This is a great cable. It costs um, considerably more expensive, all the rest of it, but you're paying for real quality in terms of the high copper content. So anyway, that's an overview uh, of the CT165 uh, connector that's available on tvtrade.ie.